Sage for a second here, and today we're looking at the Rescue Hero Force Advent Calendar. So this is released by Joy Inn, who basically buys licensing from Chatmay to use some of their molds. Um, a couple years ago, they had an issue with their plastics. Their website uh, says that they cleaned all that up, and um, we're going to look at the calendar, the toys itself. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about the plastic that's used while we're playing and looking over the box and everything. So basically, um, it comes with all sorts of rescue, uh, both medical, fire, and police, uh, so that, you know, you basically get a good smattering of rescue toys and things of that nature. Um, you can see a lot of what's coming in this thing on the back of it. So in some ways, I understand why they did that. They wanted you to kind of have an understanding of what you're getting. In some ways, I kind of wish they hadn't. I mean, obviously, if you're giving this to a kid, once they see the back of it, they're going to know some of the days what they're getting because of the, how big the compartment is in the advent calendar. Um, now, of course, the uh, we're going to go ahead and open this up here in just a second. What I've done is I've split the, the side open so that we could open it up easily. Um, and I'm going to make this look so easy. Yeah, I wish, uh, wish it was that way. Let's see. So I think it opens up kind of like a book. Um, so if you go ahead and, yeah, it does open up like a book. So if you, as I open this up, you can see there's uh, compartments. Each compartment says whether or not it's a person or a resource dump or uh, something of that nature. There's even a compartment that doesn't have a person on it that says K9, so that's where the dog is at. Okay, so if we start here with day one, of course, basically that's the starting point, but the numbers are like randomly all over the box. Um, they didn't just number it straight across like one, two, three, four. Um, that makes it more of a, well, where are we getting tomorrow? Where are we getting today? Uh, if you're doing it as an advent calendar. So that's kind of cool. Um, as far as the box goes, it's glossy. It's got good artwork on it. And, um, of course, uh, you know, opens up. Not much else to say about that. So, um, it is kind of shiny. <laughs> so just be aware of that if you care. Um, getting a little glare on it here. So, uh, let's go ahead and start opening this up with number one. So there's like a tab or something you pull on here. And our first, uh, figure, it looks like it's going to be a police officer. He looks kind of SWAT. Um, at first glance, his paint actually didn't look too bad. But then, like, I look at him again and the left wrist, um, has a little green paint up past the sleeve. Um, but they do have like black and blue plastics and then they of course have some different painting over it. Uh, nothing crazy with the sunglasses or anything, real bad paint there or anything. Let me just pop him back in there. Okay. And let's look, where's number two? Okay, number two, resource drop. Okay, so he fell right out, that worked. Um, all sorts of, you know, police gear. Looks like there's some handcuffs in here. Uh, you know, a gun of some sort, a walkie-talkie that's way oversized, ridiculously oversized. Grenades, because that's what I want my police to have. <laughs> um, okay, and let's see here, number three. As we open up number three here, oh, wow, <laughs> that did not look like the person that's inside. Uh, this is the uh, bomb tech, so you get your bomb, well, sorry about that. Let me just get that, okay, so um, here's your bomb tech, and he has very limited articulation. Um, they have painted just the front of the figure, nothing on the back. They have put some silver, blue, and black on the paint. The head doesn't move at all. The arms do swivel around, but they don't swivel out. Um, and uh, I don't see any wrist swivel or anything like that. So you can make him look like he's like disarming a bomb, but not much else. Okay, so let's go to number four. So this is obviously one of the big cabinets they showed on back because of the size of the compartment here. 
And it looks like we are staying with the police theme for the first of the month. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull that out here. And you can see like a couple of these things are molded in. And then there's some of this that's removable where you can take it out. So of course, some of this is oversized, but I think the cabinet itself looks really cool. Um, if I were using this in a diorama or a display of some sort, I would definitely take the sign off the top that says Rescue Tools. And now I found a problem with this advent calendar. So by pulling that big tab off, it pulled the thing away, the cardboard away from the plastic, and the figures are falling out of their day. So here's another SWAT dude or police guy. I'm saying SWAT because uh, he obviously is more geared up than your beat cop would be. Um, you know, but it doesn't say SWAT on the figure itself. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get this guy here that's falling out out of the way so I can open up the canine because that's number six and the guy who's falling out looks like he's number seven. Okay, let's see here. So there's the canine. So I've uh, seen this mold before. I wish he had a leash with him, uh, but I can just get a string or something. That's not a problem. Uh, so the guy who was number seven, who I didn't have to open the compartment for, but I'll open in a second, uh, looks like a regular beat cop. He's more of a true, regular, walk-on-the-street Joe instead of like a SWAT guy. So it's kind of cool. You got everything from a SWAT guy to a bomb disposal guy to a beat cop. It would have been cool if they had a detective in here, like someone in a suit or something of that nature. Let's go ahead and move on to the other side. Okay, so now we're starting on the medical professionals. Uh, here we go with a, you know, EMT. And, you know, just like the other figures, there's no paint on the back. But they have varied up the paint on the front enough that it looks like a pretty, you know, from the front it looks like a decent looking figure. Uh, obviously still just five points of articulation. Let's open number nine. Nine. And now the female EMT. So she has a weird thing going on with her ponytail. <laughs> Um, and her hairline could have been painted a little better at the front, but overall, you know, it's good to have a female figure. I wish they had, you know, a female cop figure. Maybe the detective could have been a female. Um, so of course going to number nine, we go to 10. It's another resource drop. So let's open this up. Okay. I'm trying not to mess with the compartment above it. <laughs> But I'm having trouble because when you pull on the plastic, it's like maybe if you're having a kid open this up, they need to open it on, while it's laying on its back so stuff doesn't fall out of its own compartment. That or just let them open it all at once. <laughs> so the legs and everything for a gurney looks like this goes in here. Now, of course, number 11 does look a little smaller than the other figures. Whoa, where'd he go? Where is he? Oh. There he is. Okay, so um, here is the child figure. Uh, this kid gets in more accidents than anybody, apparently, because this chat man has been making this figure for a long time. It's hard to find him, though. Um, it's really hard to find a kid of any, uh, at all, in any figure that's not, you know, uh, scaled to be a kid. A lot of times you get kid figures and they're scaled to still be three or four inches. Because they feel like that whole line of figures is three to four inches. But let's be honest, like most kids should be two to three, two to five, three inches if the adults are yeah, three to four inches, 3.75 to four inches. Okay, so that's one of the cool little things to get. And I just got frustrated. The things kept falling out. So let's go ahead and look at this. One of the things you got was a road sign. It has a bunch of like caution, road signs, things of that nature, cones. Uh, then there was some rescue gear, like hammers and uh, things to pry open stuff if you were trying to pry open a door for a fire. Um, you know, the uh, there was some fire stuff, like a fire extinguisher, a barrel, some toolboxes and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's both a saw, a buzz saw, and a Jaws of Life type contraption. To pry open stuff for you. You get a, a rescue suitcase. And this suitcase does open up. So you'll be able to open it up. And well maybe you'll be able to open it up. 
Okay, yeah, it does open up. Now, mine has like a, a black plastic melt or something where the mold was messed up or something. Didn't damage the plastic, but it is, of course, looks dirty even though it's just stained or something. But it comes with these, uh, you know, implements. Uh, looks like it has a injection, some scissors, things of that nature. This rescue box does not open up, and it has like a clip on it, like it's made to hook to a vehicle of some sort. You can see it's screwed on the back, so it's no way to, um, no way to open that one up. Uh, you get some more firemen. They were towards the later part of the month. And they have their own little cabinet here. It has like, uh, you know, they don't open up these cabinets. They do look like they have a locker, but they don't open up. They do have like, looks like some gear and stuff. There's three pieces of gear that come out. The rest is just molded in here to make it look like the cabinet's full of stuff. So that's pretty cool. But you got like lights and fire extinguishers, axes and like um, bolt cutters, things of that nature. Uh, this rescue guy is one of those older style chat me that has the belt that clips in the back. Oh, I knocked down my EMTs. Oh no, everybody's falling down. <laughs> okay, so here's the whole set, everything out. And we're going to focus on a few things. We're going to open a few things up. Um, they're all pretty much five points of articulation. So, except the dog. The dog um, looks really good on this side. But when you flip it over the other side... You can see where the, the mold was or something, and it messes up the paint application. So that's kind of a bummer. I, obviously, I can paint it, so not a giant deal. Uh, you can see that someone can fit in the gurney, um, and this, the seat belt does kind of, it's a harder plastic, but it does clip to hold them in place. And then, of course, here's all the police all together with one of the rescue dudes. Um, and, of course, here's the cabinets again, because I thought they were cool. Anyway, if you like these videos, um, like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, pour on the plastic.